something you might not know about Governor Eric is when he was governor, um, he teamed up with some people from our church and took that pro-life initiative and really took that to protect people who couldn't protect themselves. Yes. And when he did that, he was one of, he has this distinctive uh, thing he can say that nobody else in this room can probably say. There's a handful of people in the world who've been sued by, by the satanic temple and he just happens to be one of the few. <laughs> Bit in the devil's eye. I don't know, but I think he really has. <laughs> and, and I think hell took notice, and I think hell took notice, and it's time that we let Navy SEALs, people of accommodation, and people with a Davidic spirit. And what do I mean by that? It's the kind of time when we need somebody with courage. There was a guy in the Bible. He, was, he wasn't the guy that everybody looked at. He wasn't six foot four and 250 pounds. He was this guy that you might've walked by. Kind of like you wouldn't think that he's a Navy SEAL that could, I don't know, take you down in a second. <laughs> Someone with a warrior spirit on the inside, but compassion, a poet, and what the Bible called a man after God's own heart. Oh, beautiful. David. Beautiful. So David could fight Goliath because he was one part compassion and courageous for those who couldn't defend themselves. And he was one part warrior who was scared of nothing, including maybe hell itself. So with that in mind, I would love to just pray over this event tonight and pray over what I consider to be the future run, not only run a center, but for our future Senator right here in Missouri. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus and you don't come into this unless we invite you. So right now we formally invite you into this place, into this space and into this race. God, the Bible says that you can open up doors that no man can shut. So God, we ask you, open them now. Anybody who comes up and tries to shut that door, God, get them out of the way. You say that the footsteps of the righteous man are ordered of the Lord. God, direct his footsteps. Give him favor beyond what is natural and put him in the place that we believe you have ordained for him since the beginning of time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. amen.